What's happening, guys? Welcome back into the studio, and welcome to another... Wow, this is... Hold on, let me get this straightened out here. All right. Anyway, welcome back to another Random Nautica video, guys. Thank you very much for joining me again. Uh, for those of you who have uh, visited with us before, um, do me a favor before we get into the video. Uh, be sure to uh, hit that uh, like, uh, give it a subscribe, um, and go ahead and uh, get your comments ready. Um, for those of you that are new, thank you very much for uh, joining us. Um, if you're not uh, sure why you're here, uh, maybe you just saw this video and wondering what the heck Randonautica was and clicked on it. Um, so we play Randonautica. It is an app uh, that you can get on your uh, Android, your, uh, your uh, Apple, what have you. And uh, it's basically an exploration app. Um, it's uh, supposed to be intention driven. Uh, you uh, set a radius that you want to explore. Uh, you uh, think of an intention, and uh, the app will uh, generate you a uh, random point uh, somewhere, usually somewhere within that radius that you give. Sometimes it likes to uh, throw curveballs and send you, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes further than uh, the radius that you set. But either way, um, if you've never uh, tried it before, I do suggest it. Uh, maybe don't go out alone. I m myself am a... a dummy and I go out alone all the time um, but anyway uh, thank you guys again for joining me uh, we're gonna get into the video here just a couple of things um, we're uh, rapidly approaching at 500 subscribers I think we only have like maybe 10 or 20 more to go um, so uh, I'm gonna start film start filming some stuff for the uh, 500 subscriber special uh, here soon and uh, I did uh, take a look at the poll that I put up, and it looks like uh, a, uh, a majority of people would uh, like me to include the bus in the uh, 500 um, subscriber special. So I will do... Um, yeah, I mean, let's hope... Hopefully we can hit it on this video. Uh, if not, um, hopefully uh, the next video. Um, but that 500 uh, subscriber special, it's, uh, it'll be coming soon because uh, you guys have been killing it. Uh, I, I never thought for a moment I'd have five subscribers, let alone 500. I, I mean, I love to explore and I just figured I'd start documenting a lot of this stuff just in case uh, anything happened or maybe something cool that uh, other people will like. So that's why I started doing this. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much again. We'll uh, shut up now and I will get you into the video and I uh, will see you afterward. What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to another random nautica adventure. Um, we're out here, uh, gonna uh, get maybe in a tent or two in for you guys. Uh, it's uh, it's Thursday night, it's bowling night, so um, I figure uh, since it's a very nice day, 
I might come out and uh, do a little Rananautica uh, before bowling. It is kind of nice. It's uh, like 58 degrees, and to me, that's like summertime after dealing with some of the crappy weather I have to deal with around here all year. So, uh, yeah, but uh, nope, not summertime yet. Right around the corner, though, thank goodness. Um, anyway, let's get Rand and Nautica up, and uh, we'll uh, generate our first point. Um, intention, intention, intention. Uh, let me look here at what I wrote down for viewers. Uh, but yeah, we'll do it anyway. Uh, we're going to go with the viewer is uh, two eternity butterflies, and the intention is unexpected journey. So uh, we'll do a void, set our radius as usual, and generate unexpected journey. No true anomaly available. Try again. Void, unexpected journey. Okay, we got something. Minus four point step wow, minus four point one seven Z score. Ay, ay, ay. All right, so uh, and it was a four point five zero power. Um, let's see what we got here. Says it's four minutes away. Calm down, Karen. Why you always gotta be yelling? Why are you so mad all the time? All right, so I don't know. Uh, it looks like it's off in the trees, but let's see. I don't. I'm not sure if the property is private property to get there. So we're gonna give it a go, and uh, we'll get back to you guys here in just a few minutes. happening guys uh, so we're back um, so you see it's a little bit darker out uh, the first uh, point didn't work out so we generated an, another point and we're uh, here to check it out uh, it seems to be in this little weird alley up here I'm not even sure if I can go in there it looks like it might be part of a business um, we're gonna go check it out if we can um, and the intention again was unexpected journey unexpected adventure something along those lines so i don't have much to get out here because i you know like i said i'm out for bowling so i'm just doing this quick before bowling so all i got's the camera i don't have a flashlight unfortunately so we're uh, stuck with just the lighting on the camera i do have my phone of course which i could use the light on that if need be but uh yeah we'll get every, we'll get out of the car here and we'll uh, get right back to you all right guys so we're out the car um uh, it got a little bit windy, so sorry if uh, if you hear that, but we are, so this is the business I was talking about, um, I don't know if you can see it with their lights, but that, uh, see a truck there, it says Baders, well, it's, a, it's like a furniture store, but the point is, uh, point yeah I put my jacket on it's a little windy but the point is just up this way um, in this alleyway here that uh, you might be able to see there oh, let me go all the way zoomed out so it doesn't look like crap see what the focus has got for me so we brighten this up a bit Not really, not more than there is. Um, so yeah, the points down here. Um, I don't think, I don't think I'm prohibited from walking down this alleyway, even though it is right by the business. Um, I don't know. I, I, I hope this is enough light for you guys. Um, like I said, since I'm out for bowling, 
I didn't uh, bring my backpack or anything. So, but I always have my camera in the car. Uh, just in case, because you never know when your dirge is going to hit you to go uh, explore. Um, but our intention was unexpected journey. And I mean, technically, uh, any, any point we find, I guess, technically fits that intention because since uh, we're using Random Nautica, I think everything is unexpected, really. It's a, it's a weird, it's a cement, a cement wall on the bottom, right? And then it's on top of the cement, it's wood, right? But then there's this big, long wooden gate. It's crazy. I've never seen something like that. Oh dear. Got over here. Sword grate and sticks. So another wall. B B or D G K maybe? C B D or G B D or C G K. One of those three it is. Uh, nothing spectacular up top to find. Got some graffiti over here. What's that? The letter M and then Mr. There's the, I guess someone just, someone's paint can just vomited on the wall, I guess. Um, yeah, the point. I get it up on. So it says we've arrived, but you know, oh, I don't know if you'll be able to see see that on account of the light. But we've eh, no, I have to turn the lights out, or maybe I can sneak it, sneak it down. No, no, not gonna happen. Um, but we're we're just a couple of feet from it here, uh, according to Google Maps. Um, but yeah, this is the point, so it doesn't look like there's anything really spectacular to see here. Um, what's that? Let me turn the, turn the lights down. That still don't help. It's uh, just a just a wet piece of paper with all the uh, all the ink and stuff ran on it because of being in the water. Turn the, turn the lights back up for you guys, even though coming to an area that has some arc lights on and stuff. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's about that. Uh, now we're just on to a street here. Um, with no shot of the Bader's furniture. Uh, it's like their warehouse or something because there's, uh, like right around, as we go back down the alleyway here, um, we're going to turn left to go back to the car. Let me turn these lights down a second so I can flip you guys around without blinding myself. So, still the right let me turn this one off the ground when I need on all right whatever and so yeah so I guess that's it but uh, as we're walking down here we're gonna turn left to go back to the car that? there's people down here yeah we're gonna turn left to go to the car um, Oh, it might be it might be up on that block but anyway up the block there at the end is where their actual store is um so i think this is just a warehouse but uh yeah we're gonna get back in the car we're gonna go ahead and uh head over to the bowling alley and uh we'll catch you guys in the next experience
What's happening, y'all? Welcome back to another Randonautica adventure. It has been far too long, far too long since I've been able to do an, an intro outside or a, a, a start an intention outside, I should say. Um, it's uh, it's it's a bit beautiful. Uh, it's like 62 degrees. Um, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for this. Um, depends on how, depending on how long we're out, we're probably gonna have to eventually throw a jacket on. It, it will probably get chilly tonight. But anyway, all right, we are going to go ahead and uh, get around an arc up here. My car's passing by. As you can see, I'm in a uh, desolate little spot here. Um, I, I guess I could have found some place nicer to, uh, to do this since it's nice out, but... Um, this is the first like wide open area that's close to the area I want to uh, play today. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll set our intention, or uh, set our radius, and our first intention. Um, shoot, what did I say I was going to do? Oh yeah, um, it comes from a viewer. Uh, the, uh, the viewers are the night crew. Um, they're uh, fellow uh, YouTubers. Uh, I've been chatting back up there also here in Pennsylvania, uh, a, few, a few hours away from me. Um, but uh, I've been chatting back and forth with them, and uh, the uh, the one uh, dude from the crew, uh, he uh, wanted me to do the uh, Intention Colt, C-U-L-T, Colt. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll uh, do a void, generate, Colt. All right, we got one. Minus 4.20 Z-score, 5.09 power, and a 60 meter radius. Well, it is seven minutes away. So uh, we're gonna hop in the car. We're gonna head down that. The point is behind the building. So we'll check it out. We'll uh, see what we have to, to see there and uh, we'll get right back to you. All right, what's happening, guys? So, <clears throat> we uh, we drove as close as we could to our point, and I'm <laughs> a little closer to it. I've, I've started filming a little closer to it than I wanted to. I wanted to start back at the car, but where I parked, there was some creepy guy just like staring at me. I mean, I guess it's I guess it's not every day you see somebody walking with. Or getting out of a car with cameras and stuff in your neighborhood that you never seen before, but I mean, he was just sitting there, just staring at me. It was just kind of uh, disconcerting. Um, but the, our point is about a hundred feet ahead of us. But um, I don't really think there's going to be much of anything right there at the point. Uh, it was a 60 meter radius, so we may have to walk and check it out a little bit. But here's what we're working with so far. Uh, it did, I'm guessing that this is the building that uh, I saw that it says it's behind according to this map. But... Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Sorry if you have all the noise. I mean, it's a, it's a nice day. People are out in their bikes and trucks and all kinds of stuff. First nice day in a long time that is going to stay nice. No rain. We got blue skies. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Up the trees here, anything? We are... All right, so we are past the point. I don't, uh, I don't know. We'll take a walk, see how far this trail will go. It looks like it's about to end people's fences and stuff right down there. Let's see what we can see. 
Yeah, it looks like half ends there. Um, zoom all the way out. I got sticks in my. Oh, when's the last time I was able to show you this? We got the Crocs on. Oh, yeah. We haven't been able to wear Crocs in quite a bit. Um, I don't know, guys, I don't really, I don't really see anything around here that has to do with cult of any sort. I don't, uh, I'll try and see if I can go up here. Yeah, there's really, really not much I can do. There's no real paths or anything. And this goes into this person's backyard. Wow, hold on one sec, guys. More stuff in my crock. All right. Um, see, I don't know. Uh, I don't think this spot's going to check out. I was hoping the path went further, but it just kind of leads to nothing. Um, well, all right, I guess we will go back to the car, set another, uh, set another shot at this intention, and uh, see where that takes us. <clears throat> Everywhere I go, in where there's trees, there's always got to be some stick hanging out that's jammed in between. This one's not as bad as the uh, cross where we see the stick down there every now and again. But slowly go down here, make sure I don't fall. Yeah, I mean, like I said, yeah, I knew I saw the point was right behind a building. Um, but I wasn't sure what that building was. Turns out it's a house. Land kind of stretches out to where there would be a feasible place for a path. So and it looks like at one time, if you see here, looks like at one time there might have been you know, some kind of path up through there. Um, but unfortunately now it's all rubble, brush, and pretty nice house. Anyway. Um, but yeah, so we're just heading back. There's the car over there, first one in line. Um, and this, this first house on the corner here, my weather car was, is where that weird guy was just staring at me as I was getting out the car. And I really wasn't sure what to do. Like, I mean, this is his neighborhood, not mine. So I can understand it's kind of weird. Uh, someone, you know, just showing up that you never seen before with, uh, getting like cameras and flashlights and all kinds of stuff out of their car <laughs> but I don't know. all right so we're just about back so we're gonna get in the car we'll uh, set another intention and well we'll get back to you before we do that uh, what's happening guys so we're back in the car um i i'd like to set the intention outside but this this guy he just he keeps eyeballing me um so we're gonna go ahead and uh try and get another shot at the uh the intention from the uh the night crew uh we're gonna stay with colt this time we're gonna do an attractor and generate colt no true anomaly Try again, a tractor, Colt. Another no true anomaly. All right, then we'll try power and Colt. So we'll have to widen radius a little bit. Go back to a tractor, Colt. Wow. Colt. Power got us one. 
minus 4.04 Z score, 2.89 power. Uh, this 33 meter radius. Look at this guy. He was peeking out his freaking door. I can't. I, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize this. I'm holding the phone right in front of my face. What a dummy. All right, well, let's start this journey, see where we're going. Huh. It's pretty far, 14 minutes. Whatever. We're going to give it a go. It's uh, 14 minutes away. Let's start that journey. And uh, we'll get back to you here in just a little bit. What's happening, guys? So we are going to put these windows up a bit so you're not getting bombarded with outside noise. So we're uh, heading to our point here. Um, it took us from one extreme side of town all the way over to the other extreme side of town to take us to a cemetery it looks like turn left, then turn right. oh my goodness a cemetery well it's night or it's daytime well it's getting to be nighttime um the sun will probably be setting soon so we're gonna try and get well, I, I can't. Right. I can't do that. That's steps. I have to. Okay, I have to go down and around. Okay, because that's steps. Um, I have to go where the cars can get in. Take the next right onto East Chestnut Street, then turn right onto Marshall Street. Oh, well, you know, there's somebody right sitting right in the middle of the road. Right onto Marshall Street. I'll be, I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> I'm just sitting in the middle of the road, so I gotta wait. All right, so we're moving again. That only took 10 minutes. I, they're, I, they're, I guess they're moving stuff out of the house. And, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna be a, I wasn't gonna be a jerk about it, you know. Um, but here we go. Up into the cemetery. Oh gosh. I don't. I mean, I don't usually mind going to cemetery. Okay, Karen, you're you're, you're bumming me out there. Sir, calm down. Um, I don't usually mind going to cemeteries. They're cool, but um, the intention again was cult. So I don't know if I like that. But um, these roads are really narrow, so we're gonna slowly navigate there. I hope it's not too boring for you guys. Goodness, these roads. The, I, I wish you could see these roads. They are a mess. Okay. So here's where I'm currently at. Uh, my point is. Let me pull it back up. Behind me. About 50 feet. So, uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead, uh, I guess, get out and uh, we'll check it out, see what's here, see if we find anything for Colt, and we'll, uh, we'll get right back with you guys. All right, guys, so we're getting out of the car. I guess. Uh, Spin this around. I, I, I hope. I mean, we're losing light here, but I hope uh, with the uh, ISOs and the, the uh, lights I have in the camera should be enough. Um, so our point is about a hundred feet down that way, but I'm going to take a jaunt through uh, some of this here and. Since we're here, you know me, for uh, those of you that have been following the channel, um, when I get to, when I do come to cemeteries, I like to uh, search around, see if I can find any fallen soldiers, uh, flags, flowers, anything, and uh, fix them up. So we'll do that real quick, and then uh, we will uh, 
go over the, the area of our intention. Oh, wow, it is really, really good that the weather is changing because this stuff is in dire need of a cutting. Not that they couldn't come up here and, you know, chop it down with other things, but, wow, wow, look at that one. Let me uh, turn some light on here, maybe. That'll help. <laughs> look at all that. Sheepers. We have to bring the uh, weed whacker up here or whatever. So, so far, things look okay as far as fallen soldiers. I mean, the vegetation is really wild and out of control, but doesn't seem to be any. Um, flags down or anything like that but uh, keep looking here we have uh, about 1500 more steps we need to get in for the day so ain't gonna hurt to walk around right got to keep the uh, heart healthy uh, doesn't seem to be anything up that way Glad there's nobody around really. I like that. I like being alone and unbothered in the cemetery. That's a pretty nice headstone weaver. Hmm. Just turn the other light on too, Brian. Yeah, I get them both going. Starting to lose light as I said, so. Let's see, look at this monument here. Looks like the um, a mini version of the Washington Monument, right? It's it, it must be really old. I can't. That name is really faded. Hanley, H A N L E Y, Hanley. It's pretty nice. Uh, some people up there now. Just as I said. <laughs> bunch of kids walking they're not coming this way though oh. <clears throat> is that okay that's not uh, I don't think that's down oh yeah I guess it is a little bit eh, no it's actually that's probably the best it's going to get it's not even in a pot or anything just kind of laying there so I can't really stand that up Look at all this here. That's pretty neat. Two little white headstones. They're faded too. I can't really make out what they say. Oh my goodness, they're really faded. Haas maybe? Something Haas? H-A-A-S? Well, it's looking, looking all right. As far as the, so I'm, that's good. That makes me happy when I come up to the cemetery and I don't have to fix a bunch of things. I don't mind doing it, of course, but uh, I like <laughs> I like not having to do it because that means people are being respectful. Or I mean, a lot of times it's weather. I know, I get it, but you know, there are some rude. I don't want to curse, but there are some rude people in this world. Um, let me turn these lights down, turn you guys around and chat with you a little bit. We're going to head up toward the point here. So, um, yeah, the, uh, the intention again was Colt. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I might see a down guy. Yep, there he is, fallen soldier. <clears throat> Back in your feet. <clears throat> uh, 
Back in your, oh, he unwrapped. Back in your feet, sir. All right. That was nice. Um. Yeah, what was I saying? Anyway, we're gonna head to the point now, um, providing we don't see any uh, <coughs> any more fallen soldiers along the way. Um, I just caught that one out of the corner of my eye. That was a pretty good catch. Um, so yeah, so we are right up the way, or right down the way, I should say. We're heading right up the way toward the point. It's actually like right here at this corner, I guess. Yeah, I thought it wanted me to turn. Like there, there you see that. I thought you want, it wanted me to turn up there. It actually wanted me to turn up here. This road that I'm walking, or turn down here, this road that I'm walking on now, and park right here, like, because uh, the point's right here. Um, but there's nothing really here. What's that say? Zern. Come on, focus up. Don't do this to me now. Maybe if I turn the lights back up. Sorry guys, it's not a professional production, as I'm sure you all know by now. Alright. Let's get focused. Alright. Alright, so the point is here. So what's here? There's a big monument. There is a piece of machinery. There is a building that I'm not sure what that is, really, to be honest. We cranked a ooh, it's a little grainy with the ISOs up like that. So what do we got? I don't know what we got here. We got what what could be to do with a cult? Um no, I mean I don't I don't have why is that not focused on that building? Alright, maybe we'll check this building out. It's within the radius of the point, so I guess we'll see. Put this one on too, maybe that'll help. Get as much lighting as I can, I guess. Because <laughs> I don't have my flashlight with me. I left it in the car in my backpack because I didn't think I would need it walking through the cemetery. And I didn't realize it was going to get dark so quick. I don't see, see anything special about this. Just some poor words written on the building. 21 risk. I don't, I don't know what that says. E, T, I don't know if it's an E, a T, a P. If you can tell me what letter you think that is in the comments, feel free. But that's, I don't know. I have no idea what that says. Something about cask. Uh, and then the white thing is ages or I don't know. I, I can't read these chicken scratch. But if you make heads or tails of it, you're welcome to. <clears throat> I don't really know that any of this has anything to do with cult. But uh, there's that same, I guess it's R-E-S-K from the other side. That's the one thing I could make out over there. And then nothing here, nothing up top. There is a, I mean, I'm sure you saw it as we were coming over, but there is a, uh, just a chimney going up. And so I'm not really sure what that building is or what it was or anything about it. But um, it doesn't really seem too culty to me. 
chopped down branches. It's a big monument here. Maybe this guy ran a coal. I don't know. Enoch Jones. Oh, he sounds like a like a coal eater, or it sounds like he'd be in a coal. Enoch Jones. Come on, autofocus. Turn on, will you? All right. Um, let me set my phone down a second. Don't fall. That, that is the look at, that is oh there it goes oh wow that is the worst balancing act ever. All right, what does this say? Focus up. Turn the lights down, making it grainy. That made it worse. Enoch Jones. I should have brought my flashlight. Anyway, let me try and read it with my eyes. Turn the lights back up for that. No, I can't read that. That's 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 garbage. It's weathered and um, it looks like 1820 or 1920 or something. 1890, uh, 1820 to 1908 maybe. I don't know. Enoch and, and look, at, look at this. It, it stayed. I can't believe it. Enoch sounds like a uh, like a cult name, that right? Am I, am I reading too much into that? Ooh. Sorry, I'm just trying to trying to adjust the ISO so it looks a little bit better. I don't want it to look all grainy and crappy. Which way is up on the light? That okay. Turn this one back up. Get the autofocus back on. All right. Sorry, guys. Again, not a professional production by any stretch of imagination. Um, so, I don't know. None of this seems to... Uh, to... Uh, amount to our intention of cult. So, I guess we'll head back to the car. What is that light over there? It's probably some solar lights trying to light up the Oh what the hell is that? Is that supposed to be there? Is that the f or E? Oh, f all. there's stuff written on it. <laughs> what the? <sighs> okay. I'm going to play this game. There's people coming. <laughs> So, oh, I don't, where, I, they just came out of nowhere. Like, did they put this here? Are they playing jokes? All right, we'll be right back. We're going to get in the car. Oh, all right. Um, why, this is so... Crappy at night. I'm sorry, guys. This is so crappy at night. So we're back in the car, as you can see. Um, I don't. I'm not sure what what this what is going on here. Um, so as as we were walking up, we saw this. Let me turn this on and see if this helps. Oh, that's much better. Yeah. Um, so as we were walking up we saw this on that thing. Now I didn't see this when I drove in and I had to drive right past that thing. It doesn't mean it wasn't there, I just didn't see it. 
Um, but as soon as as soon as I picked it up, two or three people just like came out of nowhere. I don't like there's there's no possible way to get in here without someone seeing you. All the fences are open, but they just came out of nowhere. Um, so I don't know if maybe they put this there. Um, but it's the letter. It looks like a letter E, right? I mean, am I am I am I tripping? Like it's not like an M or it looks like a letter E. Uh, but it is written all over it. Sorry, sorry for my language, guys. Um. Oh, okay. Well, I remember that symbol. Um, I don't know. So I don't know if this is meant for me or what, but I don't believe that this was there when I came in. Like, I can't, I don't remember seeing it. Um, but it says here, you should mind your own business. And then it's got some kind of mark on it. Um, and then it's got that, so that same mark on the back and some stuff written here. I don't know. I can't really, can't really read it. It's very small. Oh, well, maybe you can, maybe you can read that. Um, I feel like I've seen that symbol before. <coughs> but you should mind your own business. It's the letter E. It has that weird symbol. So maybe, maybe is it a call? What well, works? <laughs> What, what startled me at first is because obviously my name's Eric, so it's my name starts with the letter E. But no one, I mean, no one knew, what, no one knew I was going to be here. Um, but our intention was cult, maybe, so that maybe it's some cult that starts with the letter E. Um, I mean, I feel like I've seen this symbol somewhere before. I, I can't place it. And I can't. So they can't make out heads or tails of that. Um, so I don't know where those people went. Is my that's my biggest issue. Like, not only did they just appear out of nowhere, but they went down by that building that we checked out, and I, I haven't seen them since. Now I guess they could have continued walking down and, and left the area, but it's so weird. All right, well, anyway, we're going to uh, get on out of here because uh, it's uh, nighttime now and uh, I don't want to be arrested for being in there, uh, cited for being in the cemetery after dark. So we're going to go ahead and uh, hit the road. Probably going to head home for the night. I'm getting kind of hungry uh, since we've been out here a few hours now. I'm just trying to get this intention done for my boys at the night crew. Uh, check them out on YouTube. Uh, it's the night crew. I think just the night crew. I don't think any letters or any or numbers or anything. Just the night crew on YouTube. Uh, they make some cool videos. They do random uh They do haunted, abandoned, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, check them out. Uh, I'll have and I'll have, I'll have the link down in the description uh, of this video, so uh, you can check them out that way uh, as well. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. If you liked it, be sure to hit that like. Uh, give us a comment. Um, share the video, and uh, we'll see you in the next adventure. What's happening, guys? Welcome back. Uh, thank you very much for uh, watching. If you've made it this far, uh, I do truly appreciate it. Be sure to uh, hit that thumbs up, uh, leave us a comment, uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, share it with your friends. If you like it, maybe they'll like it. You never know. Um, I do. I can't stress this enough that I do truly appreci appreciate. Sorry, I can't talk. I'm getting uh, emotional. Uh, I do truly appreciate all the support, all the. Uh, kind words, uh, even all the criticisms that I've gotten that have helped uh, me make better stuff. Um, 
And uh, if you uh, if you liked it a little more uh, than uh, just subscribing, you can always uh, help support the channel. Uh, links are in the description. We have our Amazon wish list. You can check out. Uh, we have our Patreon. You can check out. You get some uh, cool perks uh, for the Patreon. Um, and uh, a while back, the uh, wife had set up a uh, Ko-Fi, I think it's called, uh, K-O-F-I, Ko-Fi account. Uh, you can uh, buy us a cup of tea. Um, if uh, you, you want to just make a one-off donation, I believe that has a subscription-based donation as well. I don't know how it really works. Uh, that's something to like. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you again very much for joining me. Uh, it's always a pleasure. I love uh, you know making these videos. Love having you guys be able to check them out. And uh, until next time, uh, I love you guys. Uh, you know, stay safe. And if uh, you do go out doing some randonautica, uh, please go with somebody, or at least go in the daytime. Uh, makes it much easier. Uh, go to a pub. Go to a very public place too, if you can. Uh, I know the. I know you're, you're following intention, but um, you know if you can if you can help it, go to a public place where there's people, just in case. Um, not so much that you have to worry about it, so much always other people, but you got to remember you're exploring. Accidents can happen. Uh, the last thing you want to do is get hurt and be uh, be alone somewhere where uh, you can't get any help. So uh, just stay safe if you go out and do this randonautica. Uh, until next time, uh, we will see you in the next video. Love you guys.